the Asian elephant. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, do you want to help me plant an apple tree? Let's start by digging a hole. Great! Now let's place this apple seedling into the hole and cover the hole. We only need to give the seedling some water so it can grow well. Hey, did you see that, Hero? Let's check out what is hiding behind that tree. Whoa! It's an elephant! I think it's a baby elephant. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, young one. Katie, are you there? We found a baby elephant in our garden. Hi, Leo. Oh, my. That is a baby elephant indeed. Can you find more information about it? Absolutely. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. <laughs> Hi, Katie. So did you find anything about the baby elephant? Hi, Leo. The elephant you found is an Asian elephant. The largest land animal in Asia. Though they are smaller than the African elephant, Asian elephants can grow up to three meters tall. Wow, that's so big! Elephants have long noses called trunks. They use their trunks like we use our hands. With their trunks, they can greet each other like a handshake and pick up objects as heavy as a tree. As heavy as a tree? Wow, elephant trunks sure are strong. Earlier, we saw the baby elephant grab some grass with its trunk. That's because they need to eat a lot of food. They eat all kinds of grasses, small plants, bushes, fruit, twigs, tree bark, and roots. Where do Asian elephants live? The Asian elephant can be found in lowland forests and grasslands of India, China, and Southeast Asia. Baby elephant must be hungry. We should bring it back to its mother. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the Lowland Forest, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! Ah, I see you've brought along a young Asian elephant. It seems it's a male calf. What's a calf? A baby elephant is called a calf. When he grows up, he will have large and strong teeth called tusks. He can use these tusks to dig for roots and water, and also to fight with other males. Unfortunately, these poor elephants are being hunted for their tusks. Tusks are made of something called ivory. And there are some people out there who think ivory is more important than the life of an elephant. Oh no, that's horrible! Another reason why the Asian elephant is in danger of disappearing is because humans are slowly taking away the elephant's home, the grasslands, and the forests. The best thing you can do for this baby elephant is to return it to its herd, which is the group of elephants it belongs to. His mother should be with this herd. So a group of elephants is called a herd. Here's a clue. Asian elephants have wide padded feet that help them walk quietly to avoid predators such as tigers. 
Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here are paw prints of an animal. They look pointy, so they must come from claws, maybe from a tiger. And on this side are footprints that are big and round. Do you know where we should go? Over there are paw prints that were made by claws. And over there are big round footprints. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go there because Asian elephants have wide and padded feet that are big and round. Let's go! I see more elephant footprints up ahead. Let's follow it. Wait, Leo. We've been walking for a long time, and Hero and Baby Elephant seem thirsty. Hmm, you're right. Perhaps we should take a break. Wait, Elephant! Where are you going? <laughs> Smart Elephant, you found water! He's using his trunk as a shower! <laughs> <laughs> That's wet! <laughs> What is it, Hero? Oh dear, there are crocodiles. We'd better get away from here. What's the matter, baby elephant? Those crocodiles are getting closer. A mouse? Don't tell me you're afraid of a mouse. Leo, the crocodiles. Uh, Hero, could you? Okay, now let's go! So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger Rocky! If you want to find the baby elephant's herd, just look for the color gray. Not for yellow like hay, or blue like the blue jay. But look for the color gray. I see. So not for yellow like hay, or blue like the blue jay, but, but look, look for, for the, the color, color gray. gray. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the baby elephant's herd and mother, you have to look for the color gray. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the baby elephant's herd. Is that the color gray? Yes, it is. But those are rocks. So let's keep looking. So is that gray? Yes, it is. But those are not elephants. Those are rhinos. So let's continue. Is that the color gray? Yes, it is. And it's a herd of elephants. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, it must be the baby elephant's mother. We did it. We found the baby elephant's herd and mother. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Today, we found a baby Asian elephant in our garden. We learned that the Asian elephant live in lowland forests and have wide padded feet. So we went to the lowland forest and brought baby elephant back home to his mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. The Rothschild's Giraffe. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero. This is a remote control plane my uncle gave me. Do you want to see if it works? 
Okay, here we go. Woohoo! It's flying. Look, Hero, I'll make the plane turn. Oh no, my plane! Oh great, it looks fine. Oh wow, it's a giraffe. It's so tall. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hey giraffe, say cheese. Hi Katie, I just sent you a photo of a tall animal we found in the garden. Oh wow, a giraffe. It looks as if it's wearing white stockings. Can you find more information about it? I'll get right to it. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new tall friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The giraffe in our garden is a Rothschild's giraffe. Most giraffes have orange or brown patches on their legs. The Rothschild's giraffe, however, is the only giraffe with no markings on their legs from the knees down. But that's not all that makes the Rothschild's giraffe different. Rothschild's giraffes have five ossicones on their heads. Ossicones are horn-like shapes. Other giraffes have only two ossicones. Wow! So we have a very special giraffe in our garden. And guess what? The giraffe you found is still young, and it can grow to become almost twice as tall. That's up to six meters. Unfortunately, the Rothschild's giraffe is also one of the rarest giraffes in the world, which means there are only a few of them left. Currently, Wild Rothschild's giraffes live in protected areas in Uganda and Kenya in eastern Africa. Hmm. It's very important that we find a home for the giraffe in one of those protected areas. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers! Ah, I see you have a young Rothschild's giraffe with you today. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We are taking it to a protected area because there aren't many Rothschild's giraffes left in the world. The number of Rothschild's giraffes has decreased over the years. In fact, they are endangered, which means they could be gone from this world forever. People hunt them for their meat and skin. Some people even hunt them for their tails, which are made into good luck charms. Oh no, that's so sad. But there might be hope for them. As you may know, Rothschild's giraffes live in protected areas. There are also a few hundred Rothschild's giraffes kept in zoos. Perhaps the number of Rothschild's giraffes will increase. I hope that happens. So how can we find a good home for our giraffe, Ranger Rocky? Rothschild's giraffes live in small herds, so you should find a herd for your giraffe to join. These giraffes love to eat the leaves of the thorny acacia tree. If you can find acacia trees, you'll probably find other Rothschild's giraffes. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a part of the savanna with trees. They look like acacia trees. And on this side is a grassy area. There aren't any trees here. Do you know where we should go? Over there are some acacia trees. And over there is a grassy area with no trees. So where should we go? 
There, that's right. We need to go to the acacia trees because Rothschild's giraffes eat acacia leaves. Let's go. What happened, Leo? Let me take a look, Katie. Oh no, the rear wheels are stuck in the mud and we're in the middle of nowhere. What should we do? Hmm, let me see. We need to remove as much mud as we can from around the tires. That way the tires can get unstuck more easily. Okay, let's start digging. This should work. Now we have to look for twigs and dry leaves. If we place these under the tires and on the tire tracks, the tires can get a firmer grip. We should be able to drive out of the mud. Hmm, but I don't see any twigs lying around. That's okay, Leo. The giraffe is picking twigs for us. Smart giraffe! This should be enough. Thank you, giraffe. Katie, you drive the jeep, then I'll push it. Okay, Leo. It's working! Yay! Good work, guys! So, what should we look for now? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers! To find the young giraffe a home, just look for a Rothschild's giraffe herd. Not for a hummingbird or a bowl of bean curd, but look for a Rothschild's giraffe herd. I see. So not for a hummingbird or a bowl of bean curd, but, but look, look for, for a Rothschild's giraffe, giraffe herd. herd. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young giraffe a home, you have to look for a Rothschild's giraffe herd. Good luck! <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them could be a herd of Rothschild's giraffes. Is this a herd of Rothschild's giraffes? No, these are monkeys. Let's move on, Hero. What are these? Hmm, these are zebras. So let's keep looking. Is this a herd of Rothschild's giraffes? Look at their white legs. It is a herd of Rothschild's giraffes eating from acacia trees. Well done, Hero. We're coming over. Take good care, giraffe. We did it. We found the Rothschild's giraffe a home. Great job, everybody. Yay! Hooray! A Rothschild's giraffe in our garden. We learned that Rothschild's giraffes are protected in some places because there aren't many Rothschild's giraffes left in the world. So we took the giraffe to one of those places where it's protected so it can live with other Rothschild's giraffes. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished! The Orca Hi everybody! My name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look at my digital voice recorder, Hero. I'm recording the chirping of birds. Do you hear that? That's the first sound I recorded. I think it comes from a sparrow. Let's try to record more birds. Listen, there's another bird. What a beautiful song it is singing. Do you hear that, Hero? I've never heard that sound before. What bird makes such a sound? 
Let's find out. Is it <gasps> Whoa! Hello, Junior Ranger. Ranger Rocky, what are you doing here? I rescued this orca, and I'm on my way to release it in the sea. Perhaps you Junior Rangers would like to join me. We would love to, Ranger Rocky. Let's surprise my sister Katie. She is also a Junior Ranger. Let's take a photo of the orca and send it to her. Are you there, Katie? I just sent you a photo of a really big animal. Oh, wow! It's an orca. How did it get here? Ranger Rocky brought it. He's going to release it in the sea, and he invited us to join him. Oh, that's wonderful! Let me quickly look for information about the orca. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with Ranger Rocky and our big friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. It seems that orcas are also called killer whales. However, they are actually more closely related to dolphins than whales. People also call them wolves of the sea because orcas like to hunt in packs, just like wolves do. Orcas can be found in all oceans of the world. Orcas from different areas eat different types of food. Some hunt for fish, some prefer squid, and others eat seals or sharks. The orca that Ranger Rocky rescued comes from New Zealand, and orcas there mainly eat sharks and stingrays. The New Zealand orcas may become endangered because there are fewer than 200 of them left. Maybe that's why Ranger Rocky is taking the orca home. I'm really excited to join Ranger Rocky and take the orca back home. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger Rocky, why did you rescue this orca? This orca was kept in a tank so that people could get to see it up close. Many people are curious about orcas, but it's not easy to find them in the wild. So some zoos and theme parks put orcas on display. Orcas are huge animals that need a lot of space to swim freely. In fact, swimming long distances is important to an orca's health, but they can't do it if they are kept in a tank. Orcas in the wild get to move around freely. Their health is better, they feel happier, and so they live longer. We should look for an area without boats or fishing nets. Orcas sometimes get hit by boats or caught in nets. We'll find a good place for this orca. Let's see what we can find. Here is a beach, and there are many boats out at sea. And on this side is another beach. There are no boats here. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a beach with many boats out at sea. And over there is a beach with no boats in sight. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to the beach with no boats in sight. The other beach has many boats out at sea, so it is not safe for the orca. Let's go! Look! There's something on the beach! It's an orca! Oh no! We have to act quickly or it will die! I've informed the whale rescuers. They have equipment to lift beach whales and orcas back into the water. Do we just wait here for them? It might take too long for the rescuers to arrive. Do you have any spades? 
Yes, yes we, do. we do. Great. We'll dig a hole under each of the orca's flippers so that they can hang freely. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Is this deep enough, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's good, Leo. Now we need to fill these holes with seawater. Here, use these buckets. Okay, Ranger Rocky. Excellent, Junior Rangers. Now we have to place wet towels over the orca to keep it wet and cool. We'll make sure these towels are wet, Ranger Rocky. Now, we'll pour water on the towels to keep them wet. We just need to be careful not to get any water into the orca's blowhole, because the orca breathes through it. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Ranger Rocky, the rescue team is here. Great. They will take care of this orca. Let's continue on our journey to find our orca's home. What should we look for now? That's easy, Leo. New Zealand orcas eat stingrays. So if you want to find the orca a home, just look in the water for stingrays. Not for food on trays or pretty blue jays. But look in the water for stingrays. I see. So not for food on trays or pretty blue jays, but, but look, look in, in the, the water, water for stingrays. stingrays. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. OK, Hero, to find the orca a home, you have to look in the water for stingrays. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a good home for the orca. Is that a good home for the orca? No, it's a lake. It's too small, and I don't think there are stingrays. Let's keep going. What about this place? Can you see any stingrays? Hmm, no. So this is not a good home for the orca. Let's continue. Here, is this a good home for the orca? There are stingrays in the water. So yes. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. We did it! We found the orca a home! Great job, everybody! Hooray! Yay! Ranger Rocky rescued an orca from captivity. We learned that orcas need to live freely in the ocean. So we joined Ranger Rocky and brought the orca back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. 